Hi kids, good afternoon. First of all, I want to apologize for not being able to upload this lesson on time. But as at 2.20 when I'm shooting this video, from um, in 10 minutes time you should be able to access the video on the internet. Now remember the steps I gave to you to access this video lesson. The first is sign into the Vego Potence portal. Then you will see where uh, I put um, online assessment. Just click on the link. It will take you to Flipgrid where you have access to this particular lesson. Okay? So without wasting much of our time, let's go into this lesson. So today we want to talk about lines. Like I said before, lines. Okay? Line, a line is simply a connection of two dots. When there are two points in a plane and we we'll connect these two points with a line, that is a line and a line is a distance, okay? So a line is a distance between two points. For example, look at point A and point B. You can see how I use the straight line to connect point A to point B. Now, from A to B is a distance and that is what a line it's all about a line simply helps us to measure the distance between two points all right so we we'll move over to types of lines here we are going to discuss on just the major types of lines which are the 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 horizontal line the vertical lines the perpendicular lines the intersecting lines and the parallel lines as we move further and we advance in class we will get to learn about other lines which will help us in calculating for angles in a space all right so the horizontal line the horizontal line is the line that runs from the left to the right in a straight line it runs from left to right or it can also run from right to left by the time you will be learning about coordinates, you will see that they are both movements from the center to the right or from the center to the left. So once the line runs in a straight line from left to right, that line is a horizontal line. That line is a horizontal line. And you can see the example I drew it there. You can see it's running from the left down to the right and that is a horizontal line the next line that we are going to learn about today is the vertical line the vertical line and this is the line that runs from from the top to bottom or from the bottom to the top in a plane okay when i make mention of a plane you can take a plane as a flat surface all right a plane is simply a flat surface all right so when you draw a line from top to bottom of a flat flat surface or from bottom to top in a flat on a flat surface that line is a vertical line it is a vertical line the third type of line here is the perpendicular line and one line cannot be a perpendicular line perpendicular lines are always two or three is that understood Two or three lines can form a perpendicular line. And a perpendicular line is formed when there is an intersection. And at that point of intersection, and a right-angled triangle, uh, sorry, a right angle is formed. All right? So when two straight lines cross each other at right angle, then we will say that those two lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay? When two straight lines intersect, when I may talk about intersection, I'm talking about meet at a point, all right? And at that point of interception, of meeting, they formed a right angle. A right angle is an angle of 90 degrees, all right? A right angle is an angle of 90 degrees. So when the interception or uh, intersection between two lines forms angle 90 degrees, we will say that those two lines or three lines or four lines, depending on the number of lines that intersected, we will say that those lines are perpendicular to each other, okay? 
So the fourth type of line here is the intersecting lines. The what? The intersecting line. Two or more lines crossing at a point or in a plane are said to be intersecting. All right? That point of meeting is the intersection point. All right? So you can see that on the diagram there, you can see these two lines as they cross at a point. Now that point is the point of intersection. The point of intersection. All right? So on the perpendicular line, you can see the diagram there also. You can see the vertical line, then the horizontal line. And the point they met, they formed a right angle at that point. All right angles are angle 90 degrees, okay? Then the final type of line we are going to discuss about or learn about today is the parallel lines. Is the what? The parallel lines. When we are drawing a line and or when we are drawing two or more lines, in as much as these two lines do not intersect, by now we know the meaning of intersection. In as much as these two lines do not intersect at a point, those two lines are parallel to each other. The lines are parallel to each other. So when two lines never meet each other, no matter how much you extend them, then they are called parallel line. So for example, if we are having a race, you see there is always a track. And those lines can never meet at a point. Okay? So any line or any two lines or more lines that are drawn on a straight line, whether horizontally or vertically or slantly, in as much as the lines does not meet, in as much as the lines does not intersect themselves, those lines are said to be parallel to each other. Now you can see line A and line B, no matter the extent to which we draw these two line A and these two lines, which are the line A and line B, they can never meet at a point. Okay? They can never meet. They can never cross each other. In as much as they can't cross each other, the two lines are parallel to each other. They are parallel to each other. Is that understood? All right, so that is that about lines today. Remember that a line is a distance between two points. A line is a distance between two points. And there are five types of lines, which are the horizontal line, the vertical line, the perpendicular lines, the intersecting lines, and the parallel lines. All right? Okay, I'll be seeing you on Monday in school. Uh, the instruction here is take, watch this video over and over again write this note in your notebook that was why i gave you the instruction to go home with your mathematics notebook i hope you have your numeracy notebook there with you so you will take this note from the internet i will put the file of this note on the internet you will take the note and you write it inside your numeracy notebook okay so on monday we'll discuss more on it is that understood? All right. So do have a lovely weekend. Enjoy your weekend and make sure you do your assignment. Remember, you don't come back to my class without your assignment complete. Okay? So bye. I will see you on Monday. Bye.